This AI language model has the ability to do a lot of stuff from making its own flashcards, from quiz generation to lecture summarization, a whole bunch of stuff that a lot of students will find very, very helpful. So let's look at the first thing. Where can I even find this AI language model? Well, simple. Go into your internet browser and type in chat.openai.com. After signing up, you'll see the small chat box at the bottom of the page. This is where you can essentially put all of your wishes into this box and submit it to the artificial intelligence language model. However, some wishes, for example, can you do my medical degree for me, might not be successful. Let's talk about flashcard creation. First things first, go ahead and download your lecture file and upload it onto a con online converter, which converts it into a TXT file. Then head over to chat GPT. This is what it will look like when you first sign up and you have this little chat box down at the bottom, very, very little, but so much power. So we, go, we are going to type this command here and you can type whatever you want in whatever way in whatever language. Please can you convert the text below into a CSV format with questions and answers. So then after that, go ahead and copy and paste your TXT file into the chat box, just like this. So all of that is from my lecture, and I'm just going to press enter. There you go. It's done it for you. Please note, however, the more instructions you give this language model, the more specific and the more accurate your answer will be. Clinical case simulation. Now, this is an incredible thing. You can ask one chat GPT free to pretend to be a patient and you interact with it like a doctor. Point number two, you can ask it to give you clinical cases and you try and do your best to work towards a diagnosis. So have a look at this. Clinical case simulation is a bizarre thing. So especially when it comes to a language model, watch this. Hi, please can you pretend to be a patient who has heart disease, smokes 10 times a day, lives alone, I will pretend to be a doctor and I wish to take your history short and snappy. Perfect. What is your name? I could, but please can you tell me when did you have the heart attack? Amazing. This is like, it just knows what I want. This allows medical students to practice their diagnostic and problem solving skills, which I think is absolutely wonderful. Medical language translation. There have been a lot of times I've just been sat in lectures and lecturers have been saying some incredibly long terminology, words that I don't even understand. And so I have chat GPT free on the side and I'm typing away. What does this mean? What does that mean? Of course I can use Google for that. However, ChatGPT3 goes a little bit further than that because I can ask it to do specific things. For example, define this word, but also give me an example of where it can be used and also tell me how to simplify this or give me another synonym for this. It will give me answers to all of those questions in one paragraph, which is just very convenient for me. You're in a lecture and you come across a random word such as this. You have no idea what it means at all. Probably don't even know how to pronounce it. No worries. How do I pronounce this word? Oh, I need to know how to pronounce the word pronounce. Bicornuit uterus. I butchered that one up, but you get the idea. Then you can say, what does that mean? Imagine I am 10 years old. Please, can you explain? See that? is absolutely wonderful. Not only does it just provide the definition, but it's also given me context to it as well. In simple words, it's a uterus that is a little different in, in shape than what most people have, but it doesn't mean that it's not functioning properly. Wonderful. It's just what I needed. Summarizing large pieces of text. We've all been there. We've seen a textbook with a whole bl block of text. Sometimes we just don't have the mental capacity to read all of it and understand it. So what you can do is copy and paste it, put it into chat GPT for you because it has the mental capacity. We don't. So once you've done that, then it will summarize it for you. Just ask it, can you please summarize this? Let's say you're reading large amounts of text and one, it's one o'clock in the morning and you do not have the will to read long paragraphs and actually understand what it's talking about. No worries. Ask ChatGPT3 to summarize it. Please, can you summarize the text above? In three sentences, it's summarized exactly what the paragraph above has said. 
once again, really, really helpful. Generate a list of potential discussion or reflective questions. So once again, grasp a paragraph or grasp your entire lecture and paste it into the ChatGPT free chat box and ask it to generate a list of reflective or discussion questions for a deeper understanding. It will suddenly generate a list of questions for you to investigate further. This is absolutely gold for when it comes to group discussions. So let's say you're studying as a group. If you put this into the chat GPT-3 chat box and ask each and every person around the group to assign themselves one question and then come back together, like everyone's coming back with lots of different knowledge about one topic, all of you will become experts at it. And it's really, really an amazing tool. Discussion and reflection questions are relatively useful, not just for yourself, but also as a group study. So please generate discussion and reflection questions. You see that? It's actually given me food for thought, allowing me to think further than what I've been given. So these were some of the basic ways in which you as a student could use ChatGPT3 to enhance your learning and speed up the process. Comment down below how you will use ChatGPT3 because one, I would like to know, two, I think everyone else would like to know, three, this is an amazing tool and it's going to change a lot of things in education. Let me just say that.